In today's video, I'll be showing you how to fix the EA app, giving you an error message saying that something went wrong and the service failed to start. Try again in a minute. So the methods that I will be showing you will work in both Windows 10 and Windows 11. And I also want to just say I will pop a link in the description below to a guide that we will also do, which I will add more methods to if I can think of any that I didn't add to this video. So the first thing that we want to do is just ensure that the service is running. So as the message clearly says, the service failed to start, which means that the service isn't currently running on your computer. So we need to right click on the start menu icon and you then need to go to task manager. You then need to select services and you then need to click on the list and you then need to press E on your keyboard and you will then see the EA background service. So as you can see, mine currently says it's running. If yours doesn't say that it's running, then you need to simply click on start. So I've just stopped my service. If I now right click on it and go start, you can now see that it's running. So once you've done that, now go ahead and launch the EA app again and see if that resolved the issue. If that did resolve the issue, then the next thing that we want to do is ensure that the service is set to start automatically. So we can do this by clicking on the open services at the bottom of task manager. You then need to click on the list and then press E on your keyboard again. And we then need to find the EA background service and right click on it. And you then need to go to properties. So as you can see, mine is currently set to manual. You need to change this to automatic. Once you've done that, click on apply and okay. Now go ahead and try the EA app again and ensure that it's still working. If that didn't resolve the issue, then the next thing that you want to do is ensure that your security is not blocking the EA app. So if you have a third party security program installed on your Windows computer, then put it into a passive or a game mode option if it does have that option available. If not, then try disabling it for a short period of time and then launch the EA app and see if that helped. If it did, then you know you need to add the EA app to the exception list in your security program. So to do that, you will need to just Google your security software and then figure out how to add it. Also, just keep in mind while your security is disabled, you might not be protected from security threats. So just be very careful. So if it wasn't your security software causing the issue, then the next thing that we want to do is right click on the EA app and then go run as administrator. Running the EA app as an administrator will give it extra privileges and can sometimes help resolve many problems. If that didn't help and you are able to open the EA app, then keep it open. Once open, you now need to click the three lines in the top left hand corner and you then need to go down to help and we now need to click on to app recovery. You now need to click on the clear cache option. The EA app will now restart and once restarted, go ahead and see if that helped. If that didn't help, then the next thing that we want to do is repair the EA app. And we can do this by right clicking on the start menu icon and then go to apps and features. You then need to click and search this list and type in EA and then select the EA app and then go uninstall. You then need to click on uninstall again. You will now have a window that looks like this. You need to click on repair and it will now begin to repair the app. Once that's finished, go ahead and try the app again and hopefully that would have resolved the error message. If that didn't help, then the next thing that I'd suggest is to try uninstalling the app and then installing it again. So I hope this video helped you out and you enjoyed it. If you did like the video, click the like button below. And if you'd like to see more computer sluggish videos, then click that subscribe button. If you do subscribe, then I will see you in the next video.